welcome to another episode of What I Sold on eBay. <sighs> this is a Patagonia Men's Better Sweater um, quarter zip pullover. As you can see, I sold it for $47.40, plus they paid shipping. Um, this is kind of neat. I found a way. I can't show it here. Maybe I'll do a video later on if you guys want me to. I found a website that I can put in the style number and all that information and can actually um, get the exact name, when it was made, where it was made, all that stuff. So it was pretty cool to help me to know what this is. This is because, you know, Patagonia, there's tons of stuff and you don't really know what it is. So you don't want to call it something and then have a fanboy buy it and they rip you because it's not what you said it was. Um, so this site should help for the newer things anyways. Um, so yeah, I sold that for $47.40 plus shipping, so I was very happy. Um, up is a Levi's Tab True Boot Jeans, 3632s. Um, would have paid $5.99 for them, so I sold them for $20.53 plus $8 shipping. So not great, but glad to get them out of the way. They're silver tabs, and um, the baggies are the ones you want. The boot cuts, yeah, they're okay. I mean, as you can see, I made... I think it was five or six dollars on this one. Not great, but at least I didn't lose any money. As you can see here from this picture, this is old. This is probably from October or September of 2017 when I first started. Um, Chicago Bears uh, Reebok Men's Large Polo. I was surprised at how awful this sold. Um, so I, unless it's a jersey, I really pick up NFL stuff unless it's new with tags. Um, I was really surprised at how long it took to sell. And I think I made four dollars on that because I had free shipping as well, and it's always promoted. So these were Doc Martens um, lace-up made in the UK, um, and I got thirty-nine ninety-nine for them. They paid shipping. Um, this right here is what it cost to ship to myself, so I don't, I can't remember what they paid. I think it was like eleven eighty-five is what they paid. Um, but I paid $3.99 for these, so definitely a nice uh, turnout there. This is a men's Nike dry fit. It was because right here, the Live Strong. Um, you can see here, that's why I got it. And it sold for $19.99, uh, free shipping. So I would have paid $4.30 for it. Now these, if you ever see this label, and pick it up. It's called Trip NYC. These are... As you can see, well, you know, bondage, goth, punk, rave, emo, those type of pants. They're very unique. Um, a lot of the features on them, except for the pockets, are just for show. Like this big zipper right here, you pull it down, there's nothing behind it. It is just a zipper on a pair of pants. There's no purpose to it. But... I paid $4.99 for them, and I got $41.60 plus eight shipping, so can't complain about that. Um, I pretty much stay away from Harley anymore. Uh, this was uh, Perrysburg um, here in Ohio, up by Toledo. Um, did sell it for $16.56. Uh, the Harleys here in my area, they price them way too high. You know, for a regular T-shirt, they're wanting $6, and you know, other things are just wanting too much. So I'm like. Nah, keep it. I don't really need it. So this is when I was buying everything Harley I saw. So I would have paid a buck ninety nine for it. So for sixteen fifty six, um, free shipping. So I was just glad to get it out the door. <clears throat> um, this is a Wrangler Ranchers XLT um, pearl snap. There's two things you want to take notice on here. One, it's a pearl snap, so it's good. And then it's a big and tall size, which is the XLT. You always want to look for um, XLT on pretty much anything. Um, it sells really well, and the fact that this was a pearl snap um, helped it along. Otherwise, I probably would not have bought it because it was a uh, Wrangler. That's just not a brand that really sells. This is a 7-inch Scotch reel-to-reel -reel tape. Um, still brand new. I paid $1.50 for it. So this sold relatively quick. Within a week, I got $18.39 plus shipping to send it to the person. Um, and I sent it in a padded mailer. So. 
Uh, this is kind of like an air I made. Uh, Grove Levi Strauss signature denim. This is eight sizes, eight to ten. I paid uh, twenty three nineteen is what they paid. Free shipping. Uh, it would have cost me about four bucks, but this is when I was relatively new and not learning. Um, the signature Levi's don't do nearly as well as just straight up Levi's, so I know that now. At least for me, anyways. Uh, this was a Honeywell Premium uh, gas uh, replacement filter. They do pretty good with filters, especially water filters. So always keep an eye out for a used or new water filters. Used? <laughs> Who wants to use a used one? Um, but I would have paid like a buck or two at the most for this. But uh, so I mean, not a ton of money. So uh, you know, uh, they paid ten, eleven plus shipping. So made about four bucks. Can't complain. Uh, Lega Jurassic for the Xbox 360 um, had I think 75 cents into this. This was a uh, paid for. They shipped. So I can talk right. They paid 867 plus shipping. Uh, this is kind of an interesting order here. Uh, Sly Cooper one and two. So last week before I went on vacation, I put this up on Sunday, and then Monday it sold. I'm like, cool. I changed my handling time on everything to uh, three business days. I think it was three, two or three. I can't remember. Um, we know two business days, so that if it sold on anything sold on Monday, I had until Wednesday to get it out the door. And so that's what I did with this. Well, on Tuesday, the person responds, you know, sends me two messages back to back. Half. I was gonna hoping to get this by Friday. Just cancel my order and send it back, or send me my money. I was like, all right, you know, this right here gives you. An estimate of the date range you know is chill out so I you know I was like whatever so I went ahead and deleted the order refunded them or canceled the order I should say well in less than five hours someone else bought this exact same thing for the same price and they were willing to wait so it was nice to have that done so it was 1550 again some more BKEs man uh, these are uh, Aiden straight thick stitch uh, the waist of 30, so I would have paid either 4.99 or 5.99, depending which Goodwill I went to for these. So it was a 24.96 plus they paid shipping. Uh, 501s. Sometimes I do good, sometimes I don't. You know, the waist size, you know, 30 definitely is nothing to write home about. But here, the inseam of 36, that's definitely something you want to keep an eye out. If you can find an inseam of 36. Um, at least for me, you know, as long as it's not some knockoff brand or something, I always will pick them up because they sell well. You got some tall folks out there and they need jeans. Uh, so, you know, I paid, I would have paid $4.99 for these and I was $32 plus shipping. So that was definitely a good score. Uh, they took a little longer. I put these in a, a lot. These were Cabela Men's Casual 2XL um, button down and I put, um, Two of them together, as you can see here, kind of. Um, I would have paid no no more than nine fifty for these together, so I was able to get thirty dollars plus shipping. So it was a great thing. I think I put them in a, a padded flat rate, so that was definitely a good deal. Um, lots for me. I've sold a couple, but they, they don't go as fast as I thought they would. <coughs> All right, here's a good one: Untuck It Men's Medium Slim Fit. Um, had it up for a little less than 24 hours. Uh, second uh, untuck it I've sold this summer. I would have had 430 into it, so then I sold it for $30.39 plus uh, free shipping. A few weeks ago, if you saw one of my uh, haul videos, you would have seen that I scored a lot of game boards, uh, video game or board games, um, and for the reverse charades is one of them, charades. Um, so this would have cost me two dollars, and I spent. They paid me thirty-one dollars sixty-eight cents plus shipping, so that was definitely a good sell. Uh, this is what you do when you don't have a lot of good games, but you have a lot of similar games. Um, basically, I lotted them up. You know, these are all Xbox 360 Call of Duty games. They have all been tested and worked on my systems. Um, so and uh, went ahead and I was able, so I would have had a total of four dollars at the most in them, and I got sixteen ninety six plus shipping. So not a huge 
in flux, but when you buy systems and, and, and games and stuff, you, sometimes you just get the junk, and it was still nice to, you know, still at least turn a profit. Can't really complain about that. Uh, these are nice. I wish I could find more of these. This is a Mac Tools, and this thing was immaculate. I'm pretty sure this is brand new and just sat in someone's shelf. Um, medium tool bag it was 19 by 12 inch, and I got two of them: the small one, and then I got a bigger one that I just listed. The bigger one is a 24 inch by 12. Um, but I was able to get 36 out of this plus shipping, and I just did put two poly bags together and, and mailed it out. So it was great. Uh, and something like this big, make sure when you list something this big that you're putting in your dimensions so that you don't get hit um, with some type of crazy the dimensional shipping and stuff. With the Smart Pack Piper, uh, I, a few weeks ago um, in a previous video I had shown on a pickup that I had some of these. I think I had six of these, three of them were 38 hours and the other three were 36 hours. Um, I had this up and it wasn't up for more than 24 hours and I had someone say, Hey, I'm in the town literally right next door. I mean, this town is like this far away. And they're like, can I just, you know, meet you someplace and pick them up to sail on the ship? And I was like, yeah, sure. So she paid $38 for that. So that was definitely nice. This is a Cuddly Crooner's um, hand puppet. And up its backside, and you put your hands in its mouth. And as you're closing and opening, it will sing um, close to you. Here you can see what it's supposed to do and stuff. It still had the tags. And... Um, I paid 26 cents for this because it was in the plush pile, and to get 27.19 plus shipping is phenomenal. These are Altman uh, Jungle Military Spec boots. These look like they've never been used ever. Altman uh, black nine and a half size Jungle Military Spec boots. These are very similar to the ones I had in basic training. <clears throat> um, you know, a little bit of scuffing here in the front, but if you look. Here on the bottom, these are immaculate on the bottom. I mean, they are perfect. Um, really just looks like they've been out of the mold and hardly used at all, if at all. But I was able to get 68 plus um, shipping, so that's definitely a good thing. Now, if you haven't seen this brand, make sure you keep your eyes out. These are Kendra Canada, uh, Bill Cosby, Kuji type sweaters, as you can see. Very... Uh, elaborate complicated designs here um, and these are actually a, a Canadian uh, company um, and it was funny I actually sold this for you know 43.99 plus shipping um, this is going back to Vancouver BC so someone in Canada wanted this and certainly sold it to them uh, again here's another thing you do with lot of uh, low value games I lighted them up it was nice to have a uh, Lego Batman 1, 2, and 3 for the 360. Um, I got 1788 plus 571 shipping. Another thing too is when you're lotting games, if you've got something like this, the the 1, 2, and 3 or whatever it is, um, that that adds a premium because that person is able to get all those games from you for one price. So you're getting more than what you would individually selling it but then you can also tack on just a slight premium because they can get all of them from you at one time so you know that's definitely a, a nice thing as well again I would have had like less than a buck in each of those um, paid about four bucks for this this sold in about a day it's the Crayola Create to Destroy Dino Destruction from 2013 um, this has basically your kinetic sand or your Moon Sand is, I think, what they call it, the name brand for something. Um, but I paid four bucks for this, so it didn't sell great. I've got another one. Um, the price wasn't great. I probably should have lied on them up, but I didn't even think about it. Um, but the other one's been up for months and months, and I finally just put this one up recently because I was tired of looking at it on my death pile. So I got fifteen fifty three plus shipping. So you know, I would have made four or five dollars. It's nothing to write home about, but it's it's worth it. Uh, First sale of a Wii Mario Kart uh, with steering wheel kit. So I would have had 50 cents in the wheel with that, and then a buck or two, um, at the most three, if I would have gotten this at a Goodwill, I would have paid three. Um, but, you know, so got 24 plus shipping. And so very happy for that. 
I um, showed this in a previous video, uh, in a pickups video. This is a even sh uh, show balancer. Basically, if you've got, as you can see, a boot here on, you put this on the other foot and it evens you out so you're not kind of walking like this type of thing. So as they say on here, you know, stop walking like a penguin. So I paid a dollar fifty for this, and I got twenty three ninety nine, and it weighed nothing, so it cost me less than four bucks to mail. This is a nice one. Uh, Space Jam's long sleeve T-shirt, vintage from when the movie came out, with Taz on it. Um, it did disclose right here in this color. You can kind of see on there a um, little bit of looks like some type of glue or something. I was able to get most of it off. Um, but I was able to get $39.89 out of it. The most I would have paid for this is uh, 3 bucks, uh, free shipping. I had a lot of people trying to offer me like $20, and you know they would say, you know, give me $20. And I'm like, no, I can hold off because I know this is great. Um, in one of my haul videos coming up, you'll see I got something very similar, Space Jam's Vintage, brand new with tags. So... Um, Never uh, overlook your plug and plays. This is um, would have paid 50 cents to a buck for this uh, SpongeBob SquarePants um, Jack's plug and play. I got 11.95 out of it plus shipping, so not major, but they they do sell pretty well. All right, um, so that pretty much is it uh, with everything that I sold. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, thumbs up, thumbs down. Let me know what you like, what you don't like, what you would like to see in the future videos, and I will definitely go ahead and try and make that happen for you folks. So until next time. Peace.